thought it was supposed to be three, two, one. It is, but we're recording, so okay. go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just totally. <laughs> Welcome to Coaching Queens 2020. I am Queen Bee Baumgarth. I am Queen Bee Burrow. <laughs> I'm the one who should be saying, you know, what's my last name? Today's my anniversary. Woo, happy anniversary. How many years? years? Yes. 30 years and Joan years. <laughs> because I've been married five times, remember? <laughs> we are talking <laughs> about chaos about juice i am looking at you i need to look at the camera folks oh i am talking about simplicity chaos into simplicity today i am taking a self-care day it has been crazy 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 the past mm -hmm. well since we started this you know c-suite has been wonderful and we've been going to a lot of workshops and a lot of stuff that we want to learn. We want to get our name out there. And, and I feel like I have a full-time job again. And I just got real tired. So Charity and I talked and we're going to tag team. She's going to hit some. I'm going to hit some. And then we gather our notes together and, and do that stuff. I'm going to look at you. I'm going to keep looking back and forth at our audience, which is great. And then you. So what does your self-care look like? Today, as soon as we're done here and we do the uploads and the tech, the, this stuff here, we're going fishing. You and me go fishing. I woke up with that song in my head. No, we haven't been fishing for two years. And wow. This is kind of a big thing for me and Dave. This is just like our our thing. I mean, we have fishing capabilities right in our own front yard. And last year it got a poo-pooed on. It had sad. Yeah. So we didn't get any fresh fish. Well, the kids brought some crawfish back from the river. I'm not touching that. <clears throat> no. You cannot pretend it's lobster. I know where it came from your teeny tiny little pictures and creepy legs and ugh. so we are going to go into town and i'm going to hit the pretty store which is crystals and incense nice i told my husband if he wanted to go get fishing line and bobbers and hit the sporting goods department of fleet farm then i get to go get crystals and incense and more crystals and the fishing comes in after that okay on our way home because it's like on our way home so we'll spend the afternoon out there on the shore me probably screaming screeching and panicking because there'll be snakes out there you know because it's don't mating. anticipate season it's mating season <laughs> <laughs> exactly I'm, ta I'm thinking about taking a chihuahua with me not that they're any better with the snakes, but at least I can hold on to him and squeeze him and be like, oh, it's fine. Totally fine. But I'm going to totally kick my husband's butt and I'm going to catch the biggest fish ever. Well, we'll have, to, fish. You'll have to tell us about it when, okay. when we It'll come back. Probably be a fish nugget, but whatever. <laughs> That's when Gene got a deer. They said, oh, you got a dog. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Dear, the buck was just a run, I guess. But in all seriousness, um, you know, there was a meeting I went to yesterday that was talking about trauma, and I had it under control with my MS. You know, that my outlook was that good things are going to come from this, and I'm going to be healthy, and I've been trying to do the right things. But the heart attack did put me in a tailspin, and. I don't want to label it. I don't, as you say, put it in a box, but you know, there are times at night when I go to sleep or when I get into bed and I think, am I going to wake up tomorrow? And that is chaos to me. That is an inner peace. So I do my daily devotionals and I listen to music and I shiny squirrel. I warned you guys about it, but I was listening to 77, 1977 music. Oh my gosh. If that didn't take me back. 
And it was so nice to know, to hear some of the songs in the frame of mind that I was in when I was hearing the songs for the first time, like Fleetwood Mac um, music, um, the album to where I got in trouble. I wish we could find that album co cover where he's standing there and, and he has his, his vest is tied and, and he has two balls hanging down. <laughs> and mom said that was just, uh, rumors rumors was the album cover so um anyway <laughs> please like you're old <laughs> take your word for it <laughs> uh, i forgot okay <laughs> but just listen and now where i am today and all the stuff that i went through to get where i am today 15 year anniversary and it's just the inner peace it's just everything you have to have faith, whatever your faith may be. True story. Well, what day was it? Coffee with Kevin. Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. We always get up early um, and hop on Facebook to have coffee with Kevin. And that's Kevin Martin um, from Peak Performance Mindset Coaching. I did not want to botch their name. And it's a great way to start the day you know, one eyeball's open, hair's a hot mess. It's like, oh, the camera's not on. Woohoo. And then him and Lisa hopped on for a while with their actual, was it Mindset from the Mountaintop? Is that what they call that show? With the peak performance okay. mindset coaching. And then they always get on and they're why coaches. And they were talking this week about how a lot of us want to challenge things we want to think outside the box we want to look at things and be like is there a better way to do this well for a long time we were all told to sit down sit back and be quiet just, just do it this way just do it this way it made a lot of us uncomfortable now a lot of us are stepping up and we're like hey except a lot of us are we still got that chaos thing kicking you know i don't know about you but when i try to simplify my surroundings and you know oh I should I should have things more simple I should be more organized I should do this and then I go down that rabbit hole and I'm like I'm not even doing simple right and then that starts its own little cycle what I do in that point is say I am and that right there that's what I need to get to okay I didn't shoot myself on that one because I know that that it however we are as we are it's totally okay. So if my six piles of chaos, and I can tell you what piece of paper is what color at what point in the pile, I'm okay with that now. Like that, that's just me. Someone else walks in and, oh, you should file that and put that away. No, because I'll never find it. Exactly. It's not how I operate. And it, learning to embrace that actually brings simplicity because yes. we stop that beating up on that level and I don't know I just when when Lisa it's Kevin Martin and Lisa Shermerhorn when Lisa had said that and she's just like you know it just brings that calm and knowing and I can work with it should I organize my closet better sure I had it organized what like a month and a half ago I was all excited I had a big big girl closet you know everything now not so much <laughs> so laundry baskets don't again. sweat i i just was told one time don't sweat the small stuff because everything is small stuff yes. everything is is being ordained and stuff it's all in god's time he doesn't yeah he his time he's never late just right? if, you know when the condo didn't go through mm -hmm. okay, he got really upset I was in tears, you know, on, on how the sale went south. Mm -hmm. And now it's just, there's a better person for the condo. Yep. Somebody who needs that condo isn't ready to get it yet. So it's, it's all, it, it, it just, it's sunny out. It's not snowing. It's sunny out. It's my anniversary. I know. We're going guys, back to the restaurant to the scene of the crime. There you go. Where we met. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. And how are you guys getting there? 
by by trucks. Oh, that's this weekend. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay. Buggy, I don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, we're going to. Uh, well, this weekend we're. I shouldn't say that. What if somebody wants to come and rob me? <laughs> they don't know where I live, so they can't. So anyway, I don't want people to know we're not. Anyway, how does inner peace work for you? What makes your heart happy? Now, I know. This I makes see. my heart happy. I love this so much. <laughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And the Lord turn his face upon you and give you peace. Amen. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Have a great Take day. Care.